Well, hi there. I've been in this closet for about 13 days, I think. Uh, it's a bit boring in here, so I guess I can leave now. Oh, we're really doing this? Alright, you already know what's happening. After the release of Five Nights at Freddy's 3, an image of Freddy's hat in a spotlight appeared on Scott Cawthon's website. Shortly after it appeared, Freddy's hat disappeared. Something was coming, and what came was terrifying. A creepy version of Freddy with some mini Freddy's appeared, saying that Five Nights at Freddy's The Final Chapter was on its way. The subtitle would be dropped after this teaser. Brightening the image showed what appeared to be the word Nightmare. In the next few weeks, Scott Cawthon's website was updated with images of the nightmare variations of Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Even Chica's cupcake got the nightmare treatment. Each of these teasers asked a question, was it me? After the Nightmare Foxy teaser, a teaser not too dissimilar from the Freddy's hat teaser appeared, showing a purple hat and bow tie in a spotlight. Brightening the image showed the words property of fur er, with a lot of the words being blocked out. It was assumed this said, Property of Fred Bear's Family Diner, a location mentioned as being the original Freddy's location in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Shortly after, a grayscale character with the purple accessories was put on the website, along with the words, Or Was It Me? Each of these teasers showed a release date of October 31st, 2015, Halloween. The next teaser showed what appeared to be a small spring trap sitting in a chair that said, Terrible things come in small packages. And then the game released on July 26, 2015. Scott wasn't really that good at release dates. So how does this game play? Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is the most unique game in the series up to this point. While in other games you had no doors, in this game you have no monitor, only a flashlight. Also, it's in a bedroom, if you couldn't already tell. This is the first sound-based game in the series. In your room, you can go to four areas. The doors on the sides of your room, the closet, and the bed. At the doors, you must listen for breathing, turn on your light if you don't hear it, and hold the door closed if you do. I can't talk about the bed and closet without talking about the characters, so let's get on to the nights. When you start night one, text appears on screen that says five days until the party. This game has after night minigames like the third game, though I guess this would technically be a before night minigame. The start of this minigame has a Golden Freddy plush talking to you, but I'm not even going to be blunt with you, this is a Fredbear plush, not a Golden Freddy plush. You then take control of a crying child and can walk around your bedroom. You're locked in your room and no matter how much you bang on the door, whoever locked you in won't let you out. The child collapses and continues to cry as Fredbear says, tomorrow is another day, and the game ends. Now for night one. On Night 1, three characters are active, Nightmare Freddy, Nightmare Bonnie, and Nightmare Chica. Nightmare Bonnie approaches from the left door, and Nightmare Chica approaches from the right. They are the characters whose breathing you need to be listening for, and if you shine your light when they're at the door... You get your ears blown out. We're also not going to question how these animatronics can breathe. That's just a waste of time. Nightmare Freddy has these little minions called Freddles who will begin to appear in your bed. If all three of them appear and stay on the bed for too long, Nightmare Freddy will appear and kill you when you turn around, or when you come back from a door. Luckily, you can hear the screaming of the Freddles without looking at them so you can know when you need to check on them. Night 1's minigame begins with the text, 4 days until the party. You're still the crying child in this minigame, but now you can actually explore your house. Fredbear tells you to be careful. If you walk north and then east, you'll find what appears to be a girl's room and a broken mangle toy. Going west two screens will take you to the living room. You've probably noticed by now that the Fredbear plush is following you. When you walk towards the TV, a guy in a foxy mask, your brother, pops out from behind it and jump scares you. Fredbear says, tomorrow is another day. After this, you'll get another minigame called Fun with Plush Trap. This minigame happens after every night and beating it will let you skip two hours in the next night. Your goal is to stop Plush Trap on the X in front of you. It's not that hard and the bonus hours are very helpful. 
Night 2 is where things get a bit different. Nightmare Foxy is introduced on this night. He'll occasionally appear at the end of a hallway. If he's at the end of a hallway and you run to the opposite hall, he'll get into your room and go into the closet. Then you have to go to the closet and hold it shut to keep him from attacking. Night 2's minigame starts with the text, Three Days Until the Party. This minigame has you in Fredbear's family diner. The voice of the Fredbear plush tells you to run and get out. When you head for the exit, you're stopped by a guy in a Fredbear suit. Little does this kid know that he could just kick this guy in the right way and those spring locks would immediately lock up. Anyway, you run to the left and see shadows of Fredbear and Spring Bonnie. If you go back a screen here, you can see what appears to be Purple Guy stuffing someone into a suit. Although, considering Purple Guy is most likely an employee at Fredbear's, he's probably just helping a co-worker into a suit. Continuing to the left, the man in the Fredbear suit corners you and Fredbear once again says, Tomorrow is another day. Night 3 and Night 4 are basically just harder versions of Night 2. Night 3's minigame starts with the text, Two Days Until the Party. You are at Fredbear's once again, and the Fredbear plush's voice tells you that you can get away now. You can now walk outside your house and Fredbear's. You can find some things like a girl holding a spring bonnie plush, a girl who talks about the animatronics coming alive at night and hiding your body when you die, another kid laughs at you for crying all the time, here's Balloon Boy who reminds you that the party is your party, there's also a girl with toys of Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. When you enter your house, Fredbear tells you to be careful. If you approach the TV here, you can see a show called Fredbear and Friends that appears to show Fredbear, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. You enter your room again and your brother jump scares you again. Fredbear says yet again, tomorrow is another day. Night 4's minigame begins with one day until the party. This minigame is more of a cutscene. The crying child is trapped in what appears to be the parts and service room and is begging to be let out. After a while, he collapses and continues to cry, and Fredbear says, tomorrow is another day. Night 5 is where things get shaken up a bit. None of the nightmares you're used to are active, but the only character who is active is the new Nightmare Fredbear. Fredbear will run between both halls, and when you hear him stop, go to that door and close it. You can shine the light, but that increases the chance of death. If you hear Fredbear laugh, look back at the bed or go to the closet. He'll be in one of those places. If he's on the bed, shine your light at him. If he's in the closet, you can either shine your light or close the door. This night is honestly not that bad and kind of easier than previous nights. Night 5's minigame begins with zero days until the party. The crying child is surrounded by his brother and his brother's friends. They continue to taunt the crying child until his brother suggests that the child wants to give Fredbear a big kiss. The bullies pick up the crying child and bring him to Fredbear, and... Oh yeah, that's a kiss! Like, how did that even happen? Are they just gonna stand there and laugh? Oh. Now you're probably wondering, did we just witness the bite of 87? No. The copyright year on Fredbear and Friends in the Night 3 minigame, as well as another easter egg in the series, confirms that this game takes place in 1983. So this is the bite of 83. After Night 5, you'll unlock Night 6 and the Extras menu, as well as getting a star on the main menu. The Extras menu was greatly expanded in this game, however Night 5 only unlocks the animatronics section, which shows all but one of the animatronics, and the Making Foxy section, which shows the making of Nightmare Foxy's head. Night 6 is basically a combination of Night 4 and 5. For the first four hours, the regular Nightmare animatronics are active, but starting at 4am, only Fredbear becomes active. There's another minigame after Night 6, where the crying child is in a void with his plushies. His brother apologizes and Fredbear gives a little monologue as the plushies disappear. Fredbear says, I will put you back together, and disappears. The crying child disappears shortly after, with the hospital flatline being heard in the background. Beating Night 6 unlocks more sections of the extras, specifically making Fredbear, fun with plush trap, the jump scares, and nightmare mode Night 7, as well as a second star on the menu. Night 7 is incredibly difficult until 4am. The Nightmare animatronics are extremely aggressive, and your main problem is Nightmare Freddy, whose freddles appear very quickly, and if you turn around when Foxy is in his last stage in the closet, or Bonnie or Chica are at your door, it's game over. Turning around is very dangerous. Your main goal for the night is to keep Foxy out until 4am, when it switches over to the new character, Nightmare, who is exactly the same as Fredbear in terms of behavior and has a way less menacing jump scare. Upon beating Nightmare Mode, a box will appear on the screen with two locks that you can click. After you click for a bit, the words, perhaps some things are best left forgotten, for now, appear, and this minigame ends. Beating Nightmare Mode will also unlock Nightmare the Animatronic on the Animatronic section of the extras, the Cheats section of the extras, and a third star on the menu. Like the last game, however, Five Nights at Freddy's 4 has a fourth star, as well as some more locked content. If you go to the extras menu and type the number 20 on your keyboard four times, you will unlock 20 20 20 20 mode. This is the eighth night, and it is very difficult. Once again, you must keep Foxy out until 4am and then defend against Nightmare. Beating Night 8 doesn't get you another minigame, but it does get you the 4 star on the menu, the challenges section of the extras, and fun with Balloon Boy. 
Fun with Balloon Boy is pretty interesting. After the release of Five Nights at Freddy's 4, Scott Cawthon said that he would be releasing a free Halloween expansion to the game. Over the next few months, more teasers were put on Scott's website, showing nightmare versions of Mangle, the Puppet, and Balloon Boy. The Halloween update was released a few hours before Halloween, and it added the challenges, cheats, fun with Balloon Boy, and of course, a few new characters. Nightmare Bonnie and Nightmare Chica were replaced by Jacko Bonnie and Jacko Chica, who are just reskins. Nightmare Foxy was replaced by Nightmare Mangle, who's kind of different in the fact that Mangle never appears at the end of a hall and creates radio static noises when in the closet. Nightmarion, the Nightmare Puppet, is just Nightmare, but when he's active, the music box melody from Five Nights at Freddy's 2 plays, and Nightmare Balloon Boy, who is just a harder version of Plush Trap. Nightmare Balloon Boy is the most interesting character in this update, as he's the only character who is also added to the base game. This is because, unlike the other characters, Scott Cawthon said that Nightmare Balloon Boy can fit into the lore without contradicting anything. The minigames also had some aesthetic features added, like Halloween decorations in the house and at Fredbear's. Now let's get to the cheats and challenges. For the cheats, the Radar and Fast Nights cheats return from Five Nights at Freddy's 3, but there's now a Danger Indicator cheat which tells you when there's an animatronic at your door. In terms of challenges, there's Blind Mode, which is exactly what it says, you can't see, Instafoxy, which makes it so that Foxy's in the closet at the start of the night, Mad Freddy makes Freddy always have f three freddles, and All Nightmare makes you face Nightmare for the entire night. Beating these challenges on Nightmare Mode will get you some extra stars, but I didn't do them because I have a good amount of sanity left in me. Plus, this game is just stressful to play. And that's about it for Five Nights at Freddy's 4. What was that?